The Smart Board Revolution Google Plus community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This episode is answering the question, what is Smart Response VE? Smart Response is the name of the Smart Clicker system. Now, there are several models, old models of Smart Response, the clickers, but they don't make or sell the physical clickers anymore. Smart Response VE, the VE stands for Virtual Edition, which simply means that any internet connected device becomes the clicker. So if you can get to the internet from a phone, an iPad, a Chromebook, a computer, a Kindle, anything that you can get to the internet and a web page with, that's your clicker. So the next question is, do I have Smart Response VE? If your district has the Smart Notebook Advantage license, then you automatically have access to Smart Response VE. The follow-up then is, how do I know if my district has the Smart Advantage license? The simple way to tell is, if you have Smart Notebook 14 or higher, then you have the Smart Advantage license, and Smart Response VE is automatically included. The next question, how do I use Smart Response VE? Well, first thing you have to do is go to the Smart Response icon and run the Setup tool. And I have another video for that. Then you create a class in the Smart Response Teacher Tools. And there's a video for that as well. Once those two things are done, if you have internet-connected devices for your students, you're ready to run an assessment with Smart Response VE. So now the question is, why should I use it? The easiest answer is it can demonstrate being distinguished in several components of Danielson's framework. I've listed some here. I'm not going to read all of these. Just comment on some of them. You know, the results that you get, whether they're formative assessments in the middle of a lesson or some kind of a summative assessment that you use Smart Response with. You can plan for future instruction based on the results. It shows that you're monitoring student learning. Students get that feedback timely, like immediately. Again, the lesson adjustment and response to students. Seizing a major opportunity based on a spontaneous event. You're doing a formative assessment. You get that immediate feedback and you make an adjustment based on that to the direction of the lesson or you scrap the lesson based on that spontaneous event of getting that feedback. To me, those are great reasons to use it, besides the fact that you just get great information, it gets the kids engaged. So what does it look like? How would it work? So on their device, the student goes to response.smarttech.com. This is what they're going to see. This assessment ID will be generated when we start the assessment in Notebook. Student ID, if you've created a class and you've given them some sort of number, whether it's their actual student ID number or another number that you've assigned to that student, that's where they would use it. If it's anonymous mode that you're using, they wouldn't fill that in. And then start this assessment now. It generates the assessment ID, tells the students where to go. If you're using devices with a camera and a QR code reader, you could pop that up. They can then scan the QR code and that would take them to the page and already put the assessment ID in for them. Then they would log in or put in their student ID if they needed to do that. Students enter the assessment ID and log in. Since I set this up so the students are answering one question at a time, I have to actually start and stop each question. So now this question is started, and what do the students see? The student sees the image, everything that's on the page. So all images, text, they see a copy of it here, and they click Submit. Finish this one, we can stop the question. Now we're ready for the next page. So I go to that one, and I have to start this question now. When I start that question, refreshes the student page and now they see the new one. I stop this question. Now here's a content page. We'd read this. There's a video that we would watch that's going to help them answer those two previous questions. 
And then we come to the third and final question in this. So I would start that question again. Students page refreshes. I can see the results here. Then we would go back and discuss them. You should now know what Smart Response VE is. You should know whether you have Smart Response VE or not. You should have an idea of how to use it. And you may need to go in and watch some other videos to figure out and go through the setup tool and setting up a class and the teacher tools. And you should now know some good reasons why you should use the Smart Response VE. Again, if you have physical clickers, you can use those as well. And you can use the physical and the Smart Response VE at the same time if you don't have enough devices for all your students. That's all part of the setup tool and that's explained in that other video. So I hope this was informative and gets you thinking now about how you can use Smart Response VE to boost student engagement, learning, in conjunction with your SmartBoard lessons.